Ancient Chinese inventions were extremely advanced and are still in use today. They've contributed to our world civilization's achievements in the fields of, for example, shipping, martial arts, and weapons. Chinese inventions such as gunpowder, paper, sails, crossbow, rangefinder, chariot, paddle boats, and kites were and still are important pieces of Chinese and global life. These inventions were major blocks in building of the world that we know today. These inventions that I considered essential in our lives are the ones I will mention in a minute. So, shall we start? The birth of gunpowder was quite accidental. It was first invented by alchemists while trying to make an elixir of immortality. By mixing three completely non-explosive itself substances, they created one of the most explosive things in the world. Of course, they didn't have guns like this, but this was the beginning of the rocket age. In 12th and 13th centuries, gunpowder spread it to Arabic, Arabic countries, then Greece, then other European countries, and finally all over the world. The crossbow is a very damaging weapon, but look what is the problem. After each shot, reloading takes a lot of time. Look how the Chinese people handled that. In centuries to come, the Chinese crossbow would become deadly. The Chinese armies discovered how to attach a magazine of bolts to the crossbow, creating in effect the world's first machine gun. The force of 100 armed with these deadly weapons could fire 2000 arrows in only 15 seconds. Thousands years later, Chinese were still using crossbows. Look, I have metal armor and paper armor. And what do you think? What is the main difference between them? It is weight, of course. Paper one weights 200 grams. And metal one weights 1 kilo and 200 grams. I bet you will say that paper one is not as resistant as metal one. Am I right? Let's go and check that. Paper armor in ancient China was made of a lot of tight rolled paper rolls but remember that both of them are replicas so test is not 100% reliable this should give you an idea how useful paper armor was The boat was a regular boat but with some extra things. Two wheels each attached to one side of the boat, plus paddles attached to those wheels. The wheels were turning around giving a huge speed to the boat. At first people were spinning the wheels but sometime later they built the first vapor engine. And this is how they won the battle with British army in 1839 in Opium War. That was the time when Britons didn't know about paddle boats yet. But after Britons met Chinese, Europe started using it immediately. Chinese were the first who started to divide sails into pieces called gores. It was safer because sailors didn't have to climb to roll up the sails like it was on European ships. 
It was extremely dangerous, especially during during storms, they could fall into the water easily. In Chinese ships, they had to make only one rope loose and then it was really easy to roll up the whole sail. The other thing was that the sail ran along a boat which allowed sailors to tack. Maybe I will explain what tacking is. As you probably know, ship can't sail against the wind. But the shape of this particular sail allowed the yacht going like that at the angle of even 30 degrees. So not only was it safer, but also more controllable. Chinese were using kites to inform allies about coming invaders. They also used it to send information by attaching it to kites. And when it was when it was in the right place to pass messages, they shut it and pieces of information were passed. So as you can see, even kites had they played wars. One thing you have to know is that the most of these inventions I mentioned were made while Shang Dynasty. Oh, I just got information that I have to finish. Bye!